പോർഷൻ ഇൻ യുവർ സിലബസ് ഈസ് കോൾ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ക്ലാസിഫിക്കേഷൻ ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ഇറ്റ്സ് കാർബൺ കണ്ടൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദി കാർബണൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് കോൾ കോൾ ഈസ് ഡിസ്ക്രൈബ്ഡ് ആൻ ഓർഗാനിക് റോക്ക് whereas most of the other rock in the earth crust are inorganic in nature that is if you take clay or sandstone they are mainly in inorganic in nature and this coal is the only organic rock and mostly it contain carbon atom along with small amounts of hydrogen oxygen sulfur nitrogen water and some inorganic cost constituents coke is as hard as stone and is black in color coal is one of the fuels used in to cook food earlier it was used in railway engines to produce steam to run engine it is also used in thermal power plants to produce electricity coal is also used as a fuel in various industries Most of the world's coal exists in the northern hemisphere. It is the major portion of more than 80% of the coal is located in the United States, former Soviet Union and China. How this coal is formed? About 300 million years ago, the earth had a dense forest area. in the low lying wetland areas due to natural processes like flooding these forests get buried under the soil as more soil deposited over them they were compressed the temperature also rose as they sank deeper and deeper under high pressure and high temperatures dead plants got slowly converted into coal as the coal contains mainly carbon the slow process of conversion of dead vegetation into coal is called carbonization since it was formed in the from the remains of vegetation coal is also called as a fossil fuel when heated in air coal burns and produces mainly carbon dioxide gas coal is processed in the industry to get some useful products such as coke coal tar and coal gas you should be aware that the branch of science that deals with the study of rock is called petrography and uh, this figure shows the chemical structure of the organic matter present in the coal mostly it contain fused benzene rings connected together by ch2 group now we can move on to the classification of coal numerous system of coal classification has been proposed based on physical chemical and technical properties of coal among these we have to study only the classification based on carbon content that is the classification of coal based on carbon content based on the content of chemical parameters such as carbon ash and moisture coals are classified into four types peat lignite bituminous and anthracite uh, let me discuss one by one first one is peat peat is essentially not a coal it is the first stage of transformation which is an accumulation of partially decayed vegetation or organic matter it is unique to natural areas called peatlands which is the most efficient carbon sink on the planet because peatland plants capture carbon dioxide naturally released from the peat maintaining an equilibrium peat forms in peatland conditions where 
spreading or stagnant water obstructs the flow of oxygen from the atmosphere slowing the rate of decomposition this peat contain around 40 to 50 percent of carbon atom along with sufficient volatile matter second one is lignite lignite is often referred to as brown coal it is soft brown combustible sedimentary rock formed from naturally combusted peat and this represent the intermediate stage of qualification processes it is considered the lowest rank of coal due to its relatively low heat content it has carbon content around 60 to 70 percent and it has high moisture content around 75 percent and ash content that is the ash content ranging from 6 to 19 percent this presence of this high volatile content in the lignite causes its spontaneous combustion next is bituminous bituminous coal or black coal is the soft coal which is the most widely available used coal they have the carbon content 69 to 86% and lower moisture content and the volatile content than lignite coals and this lower volatile contents ranging from 5% to 45% they are easily combusted when pulverized as powder due to they are high heating value and high volatile content and they burn with relatively long flame these coals are dense and compact and possess very high caloric value they are used in the production of coke and gas next one is anthracite anthracite is a high rank coal representing a coal that has been subjected to highest grade of metamorphism anthracite is shiny black hard and brittle and has highest fixed carbon content approximately 86 to 98% due to its low volatile matter percent that is around 2 to 12% anthracite combustion process is slow anthracite combust with hot clean blue flame containing low content of sulfur and volatiles due to these characteristics anthracite is sometimes used in domestic applications or other specialized industrial uses that require smokeless fuels in short the peat contain 50 to 60% carbon lignite contain 58 to 77% carbon bituminous coal contain 76 to 93% carbon and finally the other side contain 91 to 93% carbon next is the carbonization of coal it is also called coking carbonization is the term used to denote the heating of coal to high temperatures in the absence of air under these conditions the volatile matters present in the coal is removed the volatiles are higher in car- hydrogen content than b- basic coal this this process increases in carbon content and hence it got the name carbonization it is the only method of producing hard coke from coking coal with better size constituency hardness and richer fixed carbon content to cater the needs of the blast furnace foundry and chemical industry and this coking process takes about 16 hours in a 400 mm wide coke oven to reach coke mass temperature of 1000 degrees centigrade during the process of carbonization volatile matters pass through the free space of the oven and finally goes to the by byproduct separation plant for the collection of gas tar ammonia benzoyl etc when bituminous coals with the high carbon content are heated in an inert atmosphere in an oven they first soften and swell to form a plastic mass the escaping volatiles then pass through this plastic material 
which then re-solidifies to carbon-rich solid mass upon heating. And uh, this occurs in the temperature range 330 to 500 degree centigrade. Then this core pass through plastic stage on heating are called caking cores. Some caking cores solidifies on heating to form hard, very strong carbon rich porous mass suitable for use as a reducing agent in metallurgical industry. This material is called coke and this special class of coke cores that yield satisfactory coke are known as coking cores. And this secondary carbonization occurs in between the temperature 500 to 800 degrees centigrade and above 800 degrees centigrade we get the coke.